You really are. But in your philosophical talk, a lot of people won't. It'll go right over their heads. That's what I'm trying to say. Put it so they can understand it in, in lay language. Can we do that? Well, it's sad all over, really. You know, uh, it's hard for me to express how much sadness that I have went through to reach this point of understanding that I am now talking to you from. Uh, how are you going to help somebody that don't want help? Will Hit them in the head and make them do it? Will your book do that? Will you try? Will I try? To explain that. Will I try to help you people destroy me some more? Is that what you're saying? No. That's what I'm doing here. Will your book help children? Uh, help parents? I don't know whether it would help anyone. I've never thought about that. You guys would have to show me what help is so I'd know what it is. You teach me, I'll learn. I'm just a little kid in mine. See, I've been in jail 30-some years. I never lived in the world outside. I'm like a little kid out there. Will your life story help somebody else to understand how to proceed? If it was possible to present everything that's came down in the last few years in a proper perspective, it would be advantageous to other people, I would imagine. But if they had eyes in their head and they could see under the bed, they'd see that the heads of lead and eyes of wood. It doesn't really matter because rubber fingers are taking the hand off of the universe anyway. The level of comprehension that you hold in your mind is only taught to you by a school book that's in a sorority house. My father jumps off the Second World War in the ruptured ducks that were in the little pins in the button. In Section 8 in the nut woods, and all the people that have gone crazy. Your father was crazy? My father was all men that I've ever met in prison. Mel was one of my fathers. Creepy Carpus is another. I learned something okay. from everyone. The captains, the wardens. I never missed anybody. I learned as much as I could from everybody I could get a hold of. And I've never met anybody that I couldn't learn something from. But now that I have learned what I've learned, I don't think you people want to know what I know. You wouldn't like it. Why? Well, because it's not very nice. Well, why? Because the people that you let run your lives aren't very nice. The people that govern you, the people that tell you people what to do, they're not good people. Let me change the subject for a minute. You've been back on a job, out of segregation, for how long now? I don't know. I got up and came out of here today. I how long have you been working in the job? I explained to you, I live one day at a time. Right. I don't have any other life outside one day at a time. What brought you back into the mainline population? What brought me back into the mainline? The preacher, mm -hmm. with his love and respect and help, got me back on the mainline. Mm -hmm. After all that years of solitary, all those years of solitary and segregation, how is it? Still, right now, I'm doing the same day I've always done. I've just had to bring it a long way. But it's still today, and it's still a good day. And every day it gets a little better. No matter what you do to me. Are you at peace with yourself? <laughs> Whatever that means, I never even thought about to ask myself if I was. I don't generally talk to myself. <laughs> but I guess talking to yourself would be all right. The, um, that's that to me, you know. Check from us? I want to ask you a, a question. Sure. 
I want you to give this question a lot of consideration. You don't have to answer me now, but can you imagine what it would be like to be interrogated by the SS? I don't know whether I can imagine it or not. Think about it. Oh, I, I know what their tactics are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I answer it after the interview? There's no doubt about it, is there? Can I answer it after the interview? Very serious, isn't it? Sure it is. Can I answer it after the interview? No, you don't have to answer me. You can just think about it. I will. In your everyday okay. doing? Let's talk about Helter Skelter. Mm -hmm. Bill paints you as a small, would-be pop singer, as he describes it, of little talent. How do you react to that? Bugliosi looks in the mirror every morning when he shaves. And that's the only person in Bugliosi's world, just him, ask his wife. She knows it. What about the accuracy of the book, though, Charlie? He had the dates right and the names right, but he had a million illusions that had nothing to do with my reality. He was only trying and convicting his own reality. Didn't have anything to do with me. I've already been through all these prisons. But he did paint you as probably one of the most universally known persons to who? Around, to readers. People who read it. And they believed it? I don't know. What do you think? Then they're not as good as what they read, are they? But the book, how, how accurate or inaccurate is it? I never read it. Didn't you brief it one time? I read parts of it. Yeah. How did you find it? Like I say, it was reflections of what he was thinking. It had nothing to do with me. Seriously, the Charlie Manson that you created, that's not me. <laughs> that's only an illusion in your minds. It hasn't got anything to do with me. What's the real Charlie Manson? I haven't really been able to make him up. See, I've just been reborn again, see, and I'm learning now. I'm starting all over, and I'm learning. The preacher's teaching me. The teacher's teaching me. The counselor's counseling me, and the doctor's looking out after me. The guards don't bother me that much, and I don't bother them that much. They do their jobs and raise their kids, and I do my job and do what I do for my kids. You know, there was a time a while back where when you got out into the main line, you, you ran into trouble. I remember Bobby Davis up at, up at uh, Folsom. I ran into trouble? Well, you got into trouble. Who told you that? You see what I'm saying? Did it happen? Uh, Did you fight? Many things have happened. No, I didn't fight. Were you fought? Were you, somebody were, come after you? Were I fought? Sure, I've been fought over many times. Did somebody come after you? Someone come after me? No, someone could come after me if they wanted to. But did they? No, they've always left me here. Nobody wanted me. You haven't had any trouble on the outside? On the Not outside that. where? In prison. In the prison? No, on the population? No, I get along with most of the convicts. The convicts that get along with themselves. There's much harmony in prison. More every day. There's much uh, wisdom in the prison. More every day. Getting back to the book, what is this magnetism that people keep referring to? And it's it's been.